Okay, today I'm going to be doing a video on slip knots. I have done some other ones on my uh, knot tying series, which did show a slip knot and a taut line hitch. But this is just going to be for slip knots. It's a very useful knot to learn how to tie. And there's a couple variations to it. Easy to remember, so I wanted to put this out there. Okay, so we start out in this figure nine um, position that I talk about with your rope. Obviously, it just looks like a nine. You want to always start out like this if you can, because it's the easiest way, easiest starting point to remember how to tie a knot from. And your working end is on the top. That's really the only thing you need to know once you remember the nine shape. Okay, so we start out like this. And I've shown the uh, marlin hitch before. Very simple. Just take your loop, fold it down. Pull that in through and just kind of grab your working end and your standing end and pull them together. Okay, that is a basic slip knot. Now you see how easily that tightens around my finger. So that is a self-tightening knot. And if you need that particular feature in your knot, then just do, you know, a simple slip knot. If you want it to self-tighten and you don't need the loop to maintain its desired length or shape. So again, from our figure nine, just fold it over, pull it through. And you can adjust it so you don't have this big tag on there. But that's our slip knot. Okay. We're going to do it one more time and then that's going to segue into the next knot. Okay. So grab our loop, pull it through. It's our slip knot. All we do for the next one, so simple. All we do is we just take our standing end and put it through the loop that we created with our slip knot. And then tighten our slip knot around that. Okay. Notice that we can tighten it very, very tight. As tight as you want. Now when I pull on this, it's almost like kind of like a bowline. It, that loop stays. I'm, this is as hard as I can pull right there. I'm shaking. Cannot pull any tighter. That's not going to move. But watch fully adjustable. That has the exact same features of a top line hitch. It started to move but it's just not going to. So it took me a while to learn how to tie a top line and I forgot it the first time and I eventually just learned this way of tying these slip knots. So it's extremely easy to remember because the marlin hitch, which is the simplest knot ever, is also a slip knot. A slip knot is also this other type of slip knot, which creates a lot more tension and friction and does not allow it to self tighten. And um, what's useful about this particular knot is that it creates an adjustable length. So you can have this tied onto something, and if you need to tighten it, you just pull up on this knot, knot right there. Now I've seen people use truckers, hitches, and things uh, to, you know, to like kind of like ratchet it down and pull it tight and then tie another knot. There's no need to do that. You can either use a taut line hitch or use this type of slip, slip knot and it's going to hold nine times out of ten. Now obviously, if you needed that to be completely secure, then you would want to use a, a different type of knot so you know for a fact it's not going to slide. But generally with proper tension, that thing's not going to come loose and even if it did, you can just readjust it again. So that is the uh, slip knot tutorial. Like I said, it's very simple. Just make sure that you're starting out 
with your figure nine and uh, it should be pretty easy to memorize. So if you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like them. And uh, thanks for watching.